What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. All right, it's beginning of the month. It's a whole new month and a whole new month of movies. And March is when the summer blockbuster season starts, technically. It's just when the big movies, you know, that's when they get put in there. And there are some good ones coming out this month, guys. Woo! I already did my uh, last month in film, or a recap would happen in February. So what's happening in the month of March? Well, let's talk. Oh, we first start off so beautifully, and I cannot wait. I'm seeing it tomorrow night. Logan, that's right. Fuck. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for it, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be ready because I just feel like I'm going to fucking cry my eyes out because this is Hugh Jackman's and Patrick Stewart's last go with these characters that we've loved for 17 years. My God. And, of course, it's kicking ass already with critics. Everybody's loving it. I've heard nothing but great things. I heard it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna, it's projected at 170 million dollar we- weekend. So that's freaking awesome, guys. And I just like, I, ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I have a feeling it's just gonna be my one of my favorite movies of the year. We're finally getting a Wolverine movie where he's gonna be impaling and just slicing people, man. I, ah, it's so great. And what the fuck is the shack? The shack? I don't know what the shack is. A fa- father's transformative journey. That will show him the ultimate truth about... Oh, yeah, that's that one with uh, Sam Worthington. That's right. Looked interesting. Looked very interesting. But I don't see a lot of people seeing this movie. Then the following week, we got Kong Skull Island. That's right. The other biggie that's coming out this weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. That last trailer that came out, what, like two days ago? Holy shit. I thought they showed a little too much, but goddamn. We're going to see Kong just like... Uh, it's gonna be interesting because it seems like he's fighting off all the other creatures it's almost like with Godzilla I think they're finally really doing these things right they're actually showing that these big huge creatures are on our side kinda I guess I don't know it's gonna be interesting when they actually pin these two together like what the f- I don't know what that I'm sure they got a plan but yeah Kong Skull Island is coming out uh, this month too and wow cannot wait for that be our guest be our guest please be our guest that's right Beauty and the Beast also coming out this month which I'm really looking forward to as well live action the Disney live action movies I see people gripe about about these all the time oh my god they're doing this fucking go over this original shit I'm like every every live action Disney movie has like scored big time with critics and has made a shit ton of money why the fuck would they not do this? This is putting a new spin on classic animation. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. And if it's half as good as Jungle Book last year, Jesus Christ, I am down for this. I don't know what Raw is. What is Raw? Yeah, I don't know. Aaron Miller portrays a teenage Justine who commences her studies at veterinary school to follow her fitness steps. I'm not going to read all that. I don't know what Raw is, but there's a girl with a bloody nose. The Belko Experiment, I will check that one out. And then Train Spotting is also coming out, the second one. I saw the first one a long time ago, and I need to watch it again because I like Danny Boyle. Go, go, Power Rangers! Now, Friday, March 24th, this is going to be a difficult one because there's three big movies coming out. It's weird. It's like each each week really just has like one big movie, except for the last, well, not the last one, but March 24th. We've got Power Rangers, which, of course, I'm looking forward to. I watched the show, the original show. Didn't get into the Turbo, the Ninja, the fucking geishas i don't know what it ended up turning into but you know i'm really looking forward to this to see where they go with this then we have life life with you know a stellar cast and it has to do with space and some little alien thing and i'm a sucker for those kind of movies so i'm really looking forward to that then we have chips which i have mixed feelings for because it looks fucking stupid but then again it could be really hilarious dak shepherd michael pena you know they're they're funny but it just looked really shitty and um What's his nuts? The guy who played the original Chips. Uh, God, Strata, right? Something, I can't remember his name right now. And I know you guys are yelling at me right now, but my brain is not fully functioning right now. He did not like, when he saw that first trailer, he was not impressed. He was not impressed at all. And uh, I could see why, because they, they changed the story big time, and they turned it into like this weird, like just stupid comedy where it looks like it's going to have a bunch of dick and fart jokes. It could be funny. I guess we'll see. The last day of March, which is March 31st, we have the Boss Baby, which looks hilarious. You got a baby that could talk and no shit. It's almost Stewie-ish, but you have Alec Baldwin doing the voice. 
Sign me up. The zookeeper's wife have no idea. Jessica Chastain's in it. That's something. And then we have Ghost in the Show, which I'm looking forward to also. Looks really good. Uh, you know, I I like the anime. I watched it a while ago too. I probably should rewatch it again before I see this. And of course, there's a whole controversy behind it, which I've expressed all the stupidness of that. When it's just like Scarlett Johansson, she brings in box office. She was thought she brought in the most. She brought in the most of of like pretty much anybody in action movies of like last year and the year before or something. I don't know. She's just up there and that's why she's starring in this movie. Anyways, guys, so that's what's happening this month at the movies. A lot of, a lot of big movies uh, coming out this month. Like I said, March is always starting off the, the big movies, the summer blockbusters, I guess you could say. So let me know which uh, movie you're looking forward to the most. Which on this list are you looking forward to the most this month? Let me know. Hit that like, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my other channel too. Follow me on the social medias, guys. Right up there. And I'm going to try to see as many movies as possible. All right, guys. 